hey what's going on guys let's do this problem right here this question is asking a 6 mm stainless steel strip exiting an oven at a temperature of 500 degrees celsius is allowed to cool within a buffer zone distance of 5 meter to prevent thermal burn to workers who are handling the strip at the end of the buffer zone the surface temperature of the strip should be cooled to 45 degrees celsius if the air temperature in the buffer zone is 15 degrees Celsius and the convection heat transfer coefficient is 120 watts per meter square Kelvin, determine the maximum speed of the stainless steel strip. Now here they are asking for the maximum speed. So whenever we have information like this, first thing we have to consider is where, whether we can do the lump system analysis, right? If we can do the lump system analysis, we can do we can find the speed because we have for lump system analysis we have this equation that's e power minus bt is equal to t t minus t infinity over t i minus t infinity right so from this one we can find the speed because here we have time we don't have the time right here but we can equate this one to distance over speed t is equal to distance I mean distance is x over speed right so if you so we can replace this time with this one and solve for speed but before we do that we have to make sure whether this is a lump uh, this passes the lump system analysis to do the lump system analysis we have to have a bi biot number that is less than 0.1 right so first of all we have to calculate the biot number so to calculate the biot number we use this equation bi so bi should be less than 0 0.1 so that's the condition we had how we had to have in order to do the lump system analysis right system analysis and let, let's see whether we get that one analysis right so now okay this one should be a and a L by SIS, right? Now let's check the biot number. To find the biot number, we use this equation that is HLC over K. So we have heat transfer coefficient that is 120, and K value is thermal conductivity that's provided right here. But we have to find LC that's characteristic length. To find the LC, we use this equation that is. LC is equal to volume over surface area. So volume is thick, thickness times area, surface area. So this one is equal to thickness times surface area, right? And in the denominator we have surface area. So here we have top and bottom surface. So this should be two times surface area. So two AS. So from this one, we can cancel this AS and AS and we are left with L by 2. L is thickness, 2 is just a number. Now let's plug the values. L is thickness, that is 6 millimeter thick. So 6 right here, 6 millimeter divided by 2, that's going to give us 3 millimeter. Now we can use this information to calculate our biot number. So biot number is heat transfer coefficient over so 120 times characteristic, characteristic length that is 3 millimeter so 120 times 3 times 10 to the power of minus 3 meter so let's get rid of units for now as long as we keep SA unit we don't have to worry about unit now K is going to be thermal conductivity that is 21 and if you calculate this value you should get 0.01714 so which this value is less than 0 0.1 so that's the one we need in order to do the lump system analysis so if this is passing so this is less than one, 0 0.1 right so this is passing the bio test so we can now use this lump system analysis now let's go ahead and do it so as we discussed before time is equal to x over v so we are going to replace this with time with this x over v because we don't have time but we have the distance that is 5 meter so we can equate t is equal to 5 over v now let's go ahead and write this 
this equation lump system analysis equation that's going to be e power minus b also here we have to calculate b so b is basically this value so before we do that we have to calculate this one too b is this one 1 over b is time constant b is going to be reciprocal of that one so to calculate b we use this equation b is equal to h a s over rho c p b right so you can see that b over a s we we know that already b over a s is l c its characteristic thick length so here we have a s over b so this is reciprocal of this one so we are we can replace this one with 1 over l c so this is going to be h rho c p over l c i mean rho c p times l c so now we can find the b value so h is heat transfer coefficient that's provided right here 120 over rho is density density is provided 8000 and then cp is specific heat that's 570 and then characteristic length that is 3 millimeter so this is going to be 3 times 10 to the power of minus 3 and if you calculate this value you should get 0 0.00877 second minus 1 right so now we have the b value now we can go ahead and find this uh, solve for this speed now let's go ahead and do that so let's go ahead and do the lump system analysis equation so e power minus bt so b we already know that is 0 0.00877 and instead of t uh, we are going to replace this one 5 over b right now in the other side of the equation we are going to have tt so tt is temperature at time so temperature at time is this one 45 degrees celsius right and then we need that ambient temperature and initial temperature so initial temperature was 500 degrees celsius and ambient temperature so if the air temperature is so whenever they say air temperature that's our ambient temperature so that's going to be 15 degrees celsius now we are going to use this is temperature at time so that that's 45 degrees celsius 45 minus ambient temperature 15 over initial temperature that is 500 minus again ambient temperature t infinity ambient temperature that's 15 now we have this one in e power to get rid of this e power what we can do is we can take ln both side if we take ln both side this ln and e cancels and we will get this number so this one is going to be just negative 0 0.00877 times 5 over v in the other side we are going to have ln of 45 minus 15 over 500 minus 15 now let's solve for v so this is if you multiply this one this is going to be negative 0 0.04385 over v that is equivalent to if you take this ln of this value that's going to give you two points that's actually negative negative 2.783 and if you solve for v you will get 0 0.0157 meter per second and that's going to be our final answer i hope you guys find this video helpful see you next time